When you went to plug in your new 120Hz 4K screen into your M1 or M2 Pro or Max into the HDMI port, you were probably unpleasantly surprised to learn that they only run up to 60Hz at 4K. You were similarly unpleasantly surprised to learn that even if you bought an adapter that plugs into the USB-C port, it also gets limited to 60Hz. In this video, we're going to cover how to get the full 120Hz on 4K over HDMI, so you can use that nice expensive screen on M1 and M2 Max using an adapter, and how to set that adapter up to work around Apple's limitation. If you use any adapter, it will not work, so you need this specific adapter shown and a specific setup technique. If you have an M3 Mac, you're in the clear, because over HDMI, M3 Macs can run 120Hz at 4K, because M3 Macs have HDMI 2.1 built in, and HDMI 2.1 supports 4K 120Hz by default. Let's get started. Requirements What you'll need is a Windows PC that has USB-C, macOS Ventura 13.4 or newer, but macOS Sonoma or newer is best. The Cable Matters adapter, linked in the description. And, last but not least, obviously the 4K 120Hz screen that you're connecting to. I'm using the LG OLED C342 as my main monitor, and it's pretty great. Stay tuned and subscribe for OLED with Mac videos. Here we have our Mac connected to any adapter, over USB-C to HDMI to the screen, and we see we don't get the full quality image, and we don't get 120Hz as a menu option. Once you've purchased the Cable Matters adapter, you want the one with a VMM7100 chip. Flip it over and check that the model number reads 201388-A. This method will work with the older chip, with the VMM6100 chip, but it's more involved and error prone, so I recommend buying the adapter and returning it until you get the right version. The model number for the adapter with the chip you don't want and will want to return is 201388 in parentheses GRY. Hopefully I didn't lose you at that last step because my eyes personally glazed over a bit too, but Stay with me, this isn't that bad. Out of the box, you have to update the Cable Matters adapter for it to work. The setup we're looking at here is a computer that's running Windows that also has USB-C in the back. The USB-C port has to support video out and it has to be connected to your screen. So you can confirm by making sure your Windows PC is connected over USB-C to the Cable Matters adapter to HDMI to the screen you want to use your Mac with. Download the firmware patching tool and the firmware from the link in the description. They're both included in a single zip file, so all you should need is one link. It can also be found at the linked thread in case the link breaks. If the link in the thread breaks, you can get the newest firmware by emailing Cable Matters, the company, and that link is also in the description. So in this setup, the LG TV is connected to the Windows PC over an HDMI cable over to the Cable Matters adapter. So as we can see, this Cable Matters adapter is the one driving this OLED display. We've downloaded this firmware file from the website. For the link in the description, it's going to look like CM Firmware 4K 120 Hertz, and you want the 7100. Making sure the Cable Matters is connected to your Windows PC and to a screen, it doesn't have to be your 4K 120Hz screen, it could be any screen. You wanna open the uh, how to upgrade firmware. You basically follow these instructions. So first we're gonna make sure it's connected to the display. Download the firmware upgrade tool, which is also included under flash tool. We'll launch the flash tool. That's called VMMDPTool64.exe. We're gonna open that and observe that we can see this interface here. In the debug tab, we're gonna click the firmware version and the status should populate with the information about the adapter here. Under the debug tab up top, click firmware version. I'm gonna check mine and I'm gonna already see that it's 7.02112. So actually I don't need to do anything because I've already done this and it's already gonna work at 120 Hertz on my Mac. We would click the flash tab at the top left, hit load to flash and under firmware, it already opens to the firmware we need, 702.112, and then all it's going to do is flash it for us. So why not? 
this is what it's gonna look like. So be warned, it's gonna flash your <laughs> firmware. By the way, while doing this, if it says product ID didn't match and the firmware was for a different board, please ignore it. This is the right firmware. So mine says download to storage success. Unplug it to take effect. Disconnected, not from the HDMI, but from the power itself. Give it about maybe 10 seconds. Reconnect the adapter. We go back to the little box. Debug, hit firmware version again. And we want at least 702.112. And we can see the chip in post, make this VMM. Let's connect our Mac. Now we've connected the cable matters. Okay, so now that everything is connected, we go to settings, LG TV. I see the option is out there for 120 hertz. Now if we do the triple click check, you like fixed 120 hertz, full quality RGB. Going to the Mac over the cable matters. Now for the good part. Once it's done patching, unplug your Windows computer and plug the screen into your Mac. Go into your settings on your Mac and you should have all of the high refresh rate options. On your TV, Press whatever buttons you have to, to get the image quality screen. On the LG, it's the green button on the remote three times, and you can verify it's a full quality image. If it's not working, stay tuned for the troubleshooting portion next. The HDMI cable you use needs to support 8K, which is the same speed as 4K at 120Hz. See the linked cable in the description if you don't have an up-to-date cable. My OLED TV, for example, was finicky about cables, and I had to get the right one, even though most HDMI cables are created similar. If you're not sure if your HDMI cable is good enough or not, try connecting another machine, like an Xbox or a PlayStation. That's how I confirmed my HDMI cable wasn't fast enough the first time around when I was making this video. Adapter. If you're having issues with the adapter, make sure it displays an image by testing it with other machines. Comments. See the comments as questions are asked and answered. There will be a wealth of information there. Also see the thread where the topic for this video originated. Credits. I want to give credit where credit is due and thank the following MacRumors thread for their solution. Follow this thread and read through if you want to see further details on this method, which Thunderbolt hubs it works with, how to address monitor wake problems if your TV doesn't support DCC over HDMI, and other topics. I'll be making a video shortly on how to sleep and wake your OLED LG TV using its web control, so stay tuned for that.